Hello everybody! Welcome to another episode of Valheim Special Ops, where we're going into an infested mine and gaining access in it in the Bronze Age, with nothing more than two iron and Bronze Age gear. So let's go over what we're going to use. I got 200 fire arrows, a fine wood bow, an abyssal razor. You know, I got this shield, but don't worry, this shield, it's more of an aesthetic. Uh, blocking is pointless in this situation. We got our trusty carve, able to turn on a dime, or a pinhead, I guess. And then we got our two portals, a stone cutter, and a workbench. This is everything that you need. We're going to start by leaving one of these portals here and naming it Death Mine, because that's pretty appropriate. And I already did the scouting, but let me make sure I get all of this material in my inventory because it's all really important. Every one of these pieces plays a role. Nice. And if I look at the map, you can see we're in this black forest that's close to Mistlands, and I found the perfect target here. So we're about to go sail there and infiltrate it. And once we do this, if we do it properly and everything works out, we can go into the mine from a portal as often as we please and practice getting killed by the enemies inside and whenever we die we just go into the portal and it's safe all right it's a pretty cool uh, trick here but it either works gloriously or everything goes to shit but essentially there's these dverger buildings that are infested by mistlands monsters and in the basement of those buildings well, in the basement, there is a dungeon. So what you can do is just raid one of them, jump in, run to the basement, and then you're in the dungeon, and the monsters kind of forget you're there. And then you can seal off the entrance to the dungeon. So the only thing in there is you and the entrance to the dungeon. A fucking sea serpent, are you for real? Okay, we're gonna act like he's not there. Just do my best. This mission's getting real. So there's our target. It just showed up. See it on the map? You can see it off in the distance there. It's that island. It's basically a fort. We want to crash land this boat because uh, we're never getting this boat back. This is a one-way one, one kind of deal. But let's try and crash land him in a little bit of a better spot. Over there. Here we go. That sea serpent is... Not expected. Here's our spot. And go! Alright. Now, here we go. Will we make it? I don't know. Things look grim. As with any proper Mislins video. Starts off in troll leather. You know things are gonna go well. Looks like something killed something here. Oh, there's a Seeker. There's our first death threat. Alright, we're gonna run in. Oh, and the Seeker's right there. Somehow hasn't seen us yet. And then just run all the way to the bottom as fast as you can, because those seekers are going to mess you up. And then you hope and pray that nothing in the dungeon sees you from this point. Now, the next step is to build a campfire in a corner here. And the reason you want this is because you want to be able to keep up a rested bonus. But it's really important that you don't aggro too much stuff. Because every time you build something, you're going to attract attention. The enemies can hear you built something, and they're going to come and try and find you. So you really need to stay hidden in this part. This part is really finicky, and it's important. So we'll wait here long enough to just get our rested bonus to reset. There you go. See how it just reset? That is your indication that it's safe to go back outside. Because while we were inside, all of the Seekers are still outside, and they're now up here. And this is where our material for our workbench and our stone cutter come in. Because what we need to do is place a workbench, and then place a stone cutter, and then run away. Because as soon as we do this, as soon as we build one of these items, the Seekers are going to hear us, and they're going to come into the basement to explore. But we need the stone cutter, and you'll see why. 
So I'm going to place the workbench, and then I have the stone cutter. I'm going to hide it a little bit over here, make it, and then run. Now, what's happening now is even though we're inside, we're actually floating way, 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 way above where we just were. So the enemies at the entrance are there. They're still being rendered. So we need to wait a little bit, conveniently, just long enough for our rested buff to reset, which it's about to do. You'll see it go back to 10 minutes. Once, there you go, once that 20 seconds has passed, it's usually safe to go back outside. And you can see here that the Seekers, do not they're not down here, and they didn't destroy either of our things. That's because we built them and then immediately went back inside. If they see this stuff and they've come down to explore, they'll probably still destroy them. And now you can see the crowning glorious moment. We have our 11 stones, so we're actually one short of what, what we need here. So I'm going to use this stone wall, this big one, see here? And now we're going to go up here and hopefully not get seen by the seekers and block them from getting to us. So he saw me, but it looks like I got him. And now, forgive the light, I know it's hard to see, but this just became a safe place. So what we're gonna do is kind of undo all of this black metal stuff here. Because all you need to undo black metal is a stone cutter. Oh, we should run back inside though. If they're attacking like that, they kind of remember where you are. So it's good to go back inside and then get rested and then they kind of forget for a little bit. Because they will destroy stuff to get to you, but if you place things in the right places, then they don't really destroy stuff too much. So they'll only destroy stuff when you're actively building something. So let's wait, there we go, now it should be safe to go outside. And now we're out here. And as you can see, nothing's being destroyed. And we have also been able to collect some black marble because we placed this stone cutter here. So we could actually take down this whole tower. But I strongly encourage you not to do that because basically certain death is awaiting you on the other side. So what you should do is just make your workbench somewhere. You can make some spots here, as you can see. And then put down your portal. And our portal is called Death Mine. There we go. So now you can see. We can enter our infested mine. We have a campfire here for some rested stuff. We can go out. And then as soon as we die, which is inevitable, we have our portal for safety. And when we explore this infested mine, now when we die, we'll be able to go right here. We don't have to worry about exploring the Mistlands or anything. We can just go in this portal, and as long as we're not attracting too much attention by like mining out of this place or building a bunch of crap, then this place here will stay safe. What's even cooler is you can, you know, repair stuff, and if you bring the material for a uh, chopping block, for example, I'm short a little bit of wood, as you can see, then you would be able to just repair your abyssal razor and your fine wood bow and all that kind of thing. So this is a great way to set up a situation where you can safely practice exploring the infested mines, because this is certainly something that you need to practice if you're going to try and do this in troll leather, because everything here will just wreck you. Also, if you want to support me, or you'd like to play on your own dedicated Valheim server, then please check out my video about setting up a dedicated server. This way, you pay like $16 to $20 per month, and that can be split between multiple people, and then everybody can just access the server whenever they want. 
So if you're interested in any of that and you enjoy this kind of content, then please comment below, let me know what you're interested in, and I'll put out some videos. And if you want to support me, check out my dedicated servers and use my affiliate link. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.